telling you about investigations into several power station attacks across the country, including here in the Pacific Northwest. Well, we're learning about two more attacks that happened even earlier than the others. Tim Gordon is live in Woodland and Tim, two substations were hit there. Right, Brittany, including the one right behind me. Uh, now these happened back in mid November and that was even before the biggest attack that was widely reported out of North Carolina. The vandalism at this site was combined with damage at a nearby construction site at the same time. Police say the substation at the end of Robinson Road was hit in the early morning hours of November 17th. It caused a very brief outage before other systems kicked in. Vandals busted into the control house, according to Woodland Police Sergeant James Keller. And that's what they broke into to damage the, uh, damage the circuit boards to try to take the power station down. Right next to the substation, a building is going up for a commercial trailer business. Guys have been working pretty hard to get, get her done as quick as possible. Jeff Zimmerman is the owner of Trailer Sales LLC. He says the bad guys broke through the fence to get into the Callitz PUD substation. What was interesting is they didn't, they didn't go into the substation and try and steal stuff. They went into the substation to try and damage it. It appears the vandals had hopes of doing more damage with the help of forklifts belonging to the construction crews at the building site. Brian Kemp is construction superintendent on the job, whose phone rang early on November 17th. They gave me a call, said the FBI was here, the substation just got attacked. I, I was in shock. They sent me photos and I was in disbelief. These pictures show how they unsuccessfully tried to hotwire the lifts. So my thought is if they were trying to hotwire the forklifts and not steal anything, I honestly think they were going to try to use them as battering rams. This was the first of two incidents. The other attack happened November 18th at this substation on Pekin Road in Woodland. Only this time they damaged the circuit boards even more and the, the outage was several hours. Two substations in two days in one relatively small town. Like others before, possible motives range from eco-terrorism to a means for shutting down power to commit burglaries. In this recent case... You can draw a lot of conclusions. I, I don't, you know, until they catch who's done it, we're not going to know. And would the police say they have very little to go on, but they're working with the FBI to try and figure out who did this and why. One thing is for certain, anybody who's going into these power substations is really risking death, messing around with very high voltage electricity. Brittany, back to you. Yeah, really important reminder there. All right, thanks so much, Tim.